Well, hello everybody. I'm here again with another video. And this video is about moving to Florida, Southwest Florida in particular, and great places to live. Um, places that you're not going to hear about from other people. Other people, you know, they're going to talk about Fort Myers. Uh, they're going to talk about Naples. They're going to talk about Sarasota. They're going to talk about this and that. I am here to share the unspoken places. I'm here to let you know there's a lot of other places to live if you're not a big city folk. And um, me, I work in a city, but I prefer to live outside the city. Uh, I like peace and quiet. I like tranquility, but I still like a little things to do here and there. Um, I, I don't see. I've I've lived in city or cities. <laughs> I've lived in places where we didn't even have street lights. You know, we didn't have stoplight. Uh, basically, you had my last town had a couple stop signs, and that was about it. I think we had a population of about three hundred. <laughs> You know, my nearest neighbor was like two miles away. Uh, so that, that was a little more country than I like. You know, I, I didn't like having to drive 20 miles to the store to get a loaf of bread. <laughs> but um, in this one, we're going to talk about LaBelle, Fort LaBelle, because that's where I live and uh, that's where I love. I do love it here. And we'll talk about a couple things you can do in LaBelle that, you're probably not going to find it in other places. Um, so there's a lot of fun things to do. And let's start with the log cabin. The log cabin is a delicious place to go get some barbecue. It's being as slow as can be. We had a hurricane and things are just well, not quite a, up to speed. So just bear with me. So this is the log cabin, absolutely delicious food. They have all kinds of pork, pulled pork sandwiches. They have meatloaf. They have, um, I, I love the ribs. They have you know, shrimp, all kinds of different goodies. I highly recommend checking out the log cabin in LaBelle. You will love it. Uh, no question asked. Uh, another place to go eat is right over here, the courthouse. This place is nummy. If you like uh, home style kind of food, this is the place to go. Uh, some days they have like a fried chicken, eat eat what you want type of thing. Totally amazing. In good prices, too. Definitely good prices. Uh, they got the salad bar. They get the big old drinks in the mason jars. The steaks. All kinds of good things. Let's check out the menu. Let's see if we can find a menu here. They need to work on some pictures. But check this out. Chicken, tacos, vegetarian, vegan, soup bar, salad bar, all kinds of goodies. And they have specials. That's the thing. I, I like going for this uh, special because you just never quite know what they're going to have that day. And it's like I said, it's all kind of like home style country cooking. It's very delicious. Another fun place to go get some food is LaBelle Brewing Company. They have like their own, they make their own beer and they have a really nice menu. See if the internet will behave. Now, if you guys are just coming to like, let's say visit Fort Myers or somewhere close and maybe you're looking at different places you might want to live, drive over to LaBelle. It's only 35 miles. It doesn't take that much time. Come check it out. It's a really nice. This is um, the Lowell Brewing Company. Very nice. Great beer. Um, 
and great food. It's really kind of like an upper up kind of establishment. Very fancy. You got little decorations and you see in the inside they have the brewers where they make the beers. Now, I highly recommend the LaBelle Brewing Company. <laughs> um, well, let's see what their menu is. Their prices are fair. Um, you know, like everything else, things are getting expensive. But it's definitely worth going to, in my opinion. Okay. I don't want to order later. Ah, come on. That's not working. Anyway, so here we go. Check it out. Got chicken tenders, like $10. Bonus wings, 11 Good old sandwiches. I like their sandwiches. The steak sandwich is nummy. I had the meatloaf. Um, just going to say it. I was not impressed. Um... But hey, you know, could have been a bad day. Could have been a bad day. But it's a very nice place to go get a, a bite to eat, take a nice lady on a date or a gentleman, however you uh, prefer to do it. Oops, I clicked the wrong thing twice. But yeah, come on down to this, to the LaBelle Brewing Company and have yourself a nice bite to eat. Beautiful view. And definitely worth checking out another place to eat that uh, that's about it beef o'brady's is okay beef o'brady's if you haven't heard of it it's kind of like a, it's kind of a chain it's like a sports bar it's okay it's nothing to write home to mom and dad about you know i i prefer personally i like going to small mom and pop places i don't like going to chains but it is what it is. Forey Grill. They have some nummy stuff. Let's go here and check them out. They have like, I believe they have like uh, some pastas and other items like that. Here we go. Forey Menu. There you go, meatballs, chicken tenders, river bread, angry shrimp, chicken wings. I mean, if this is your kind of thing, yeah, go ahead and check it out. For me, personally, though, my two favorite restaurants is the Courthouse and the Log Cabin. I have, the Infinity Steakhouse is new. They just opened up, and I have not been there yet, but I'm sure going to check them out, and when I do, I will be on here to give it a nice little review. Uh, other things to do in LaBelle is if you uh, are a nature person like I am, I like going and walking in parks. So here we've got the LaBelle Nature Park. It's really beautiful. You can walk through. It's like, a, like one or two miles. Very tranquil. Very quiet. Completely forget that you're in a city or town, however you want to call it. The only problem is, is these pillars are, you know, they're put here to keep people from bringing their, like their uh, ETVs and other stuff in there. However, it makes it really hard to get a wheelchair in. That affects us because my son is uh, wheelchair bound, but we make it work. Uh, however, it's absolutely beautiful back here. You got nice picnic area. Uh, Bunch of different trails, got a bunch of different signs telling you what different kinds of plants are. Of course, you see the you get the tortoises and the oaks. Here's the map of the all the different trails you can go in. Everybody comes in through here, and up here is a really nice picnic area. This is where I kind of like going, but there's plenty of places to walk around. Another park. If let's say you want to, if you got kids, uh, if you want to take your kids to a park, it is do, 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 do. where are you at? Look, yeah, that's 
Where it is. I'm looking for it. Where are you at? I'm looking. I think this is it. Yeah, here it is. Oh, Zachary Raina Parks. Must have clicked the wrong one. Where are you at? No, I was right. So it looks like they got it listed as two different parks, but they got a nice playground for kids. It's well shaded by the oaks. So you go there, be cool, and play, have fun. Oh, I don't know who those are. Sorry about that. Think about having your pictures on Google Maps. Everybody can see them. Anyways, fun place to go take the kids. They got a nice little fishing pond. Good place. Um, I got another park up here, Barron Park. Unfortunately, there's no play area for kids. That's one thing I wish LaBelle would improve upon is having more play areas for kids because uh, there's a lot of young families moving here, uh, mine included, and we'd like to bring our kids to different places to do things. And as much as we love fishing, there's other things we'd like to do. We like to go put the kids on the swings, you know, slides, have barbecues, all that good, different stuff. Got the nice drawbridge. There's some good fishing over here if you like to go fishing. I don't really show kids playing, but there's yeah, there's just not too many play things for kids. This is also the park where they they do this swamp cabbage festival. Kind of a city center kind of park. That's pretty much inside LaBelle. But, you know, let's say you like to go, uh, if, let's say you're a boater and you want to take have a place to put your boat, but uh, you don't have, like, the driveway space. They got a marina here. You can bring your boat. And it's pretty nice. I'll change this to, let's bring it to the train. Okay. So you can park your boat here. I, I'm not exactly sure what they charge, but go ahead and give them a call. There's their phone number. And uh, see what they can do for you. Now, here's the Caloosahatchee uh, Canal. The good thing about this canal is actually, it's one of the only, I think it is actually the only canal that can connect you from the, from the west coast of Florida to the east coast. It goes all the way across. So internet 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 slow across the whole state guys but so as you see the Kalusash river into the canal all the way across here's labelle it goes over here to moorhaven you got lake okeechobee and you can take this waterway right up here you go all the way to the east coast talking about fun right wouldn't that be kind of fun? Uh, if you're in LaBelle, here's another cool thing. You're right next to Lake Okeechobee. This lake is so large that you cannot see from one side to the other. It looks like a little ocean. And you got all kinds of happy little alligators and stuff in there. Uh, it's a fisherman's paradise. It absolutely is. If you like bass fishing or crappie fishing or all kinds of fishing like that, this is the place to go. Uh, I took my wife and kids over. This is Moorhaven, right by LaBelle, 20 minutes. And I took my family over here to Alva uh, Wood Park. And we just have a blast fishing here. We go catch in uh, a whole bunch of Mayan cichlids, delicious fish, fun to catch. And the good thing about it is. They are an invasive species, so there's no limit. You can catch as much as you want. They don't care. You take as much fish as you want home with you. And we do that, and we go and fry us up some fish tacos. Great time. Okay, where else? That's, like I said, that's 20 minutes away. Uh, if you go a little bit 20 minutes north, where is it at? Uh, right up here. Fish Eating Creek Wildlife Management Area. So here's a fun 
outdoorsy area to take your family. I don't know. Just not. Internet, internet. This is a really cool place to go. Again, this is for people that like to get out, don't want to be in the city all the time. You may want to go and connect with the wild, go fishing, see some alligators, go on a kayak, go hiking, go camping. This is a cool place to be, and you're only 20 minutes, 30 minutes north. So it's not not bad at all. See the directions. Let's see directions from Labelle. You just put the center of Labelle. Yeah, 18 minutes. You're out camping, right? Uh, now I, I probably wouldn't recommend camping in the summertime because unless you got a camper or RV, because you're probably going to get flooded out every single day. But uh, us Floridians come right around end of October, November, December, January, February, March. Those are all perfect camping months, guys. That's a six month, right? October, November, December, January, February, March, yeah, six months. Thank you. Um, that are perfect places to go, times to go camping. And uh, so, yeah, that's, that's really what we, I like to do. I love to camp in, I don't go in the summertime just because I'm not trying to get washed out every day. But in the wintertime, that's when I go camping. Here's another park. It's on a inland mark, mountains park. Look at this. Nice walking trails, lakes, fire pits, more trails. Oh, look at that barbecue spot, huh? Definitely a fun place to go. Let's see. If you go, let's see. If, if you wanted to, if you go east, I think it's right here, Lake Harbor. No, John Stretch Memorial Park. This is another fun park. Great place to take the kids, guys. These are uh, a nice place to take the kids to go fishing, get out, have picnics, spend time with the family, man. This is a great place to go. And it's not that far. Not that far at all. Let's see, from, let's check it out. Directions, add stop. Let's delete this, uh, delete this one. 42 minutes, not too bad. And it's all like 60 mile per hour, guys. It's You're gonna go through Cluis a little bit, but definitely fun things to do. It, let's say if you wanted to go see the city, right? Let's say you wanted to go to Fort Myers. Uh, it's only about an hour for anywhere you wanna be inside Fort Myers. That's That's not bad. If you wanted to go to Disney, Disney World. Want to take the family to Disney. There you go. It's uh, two hours and 30 minutes. That's not bad. You know, that's, that's nothing at all. You can go up there, take your kids, have a day. Don't even get need to get a hotel room, you know. Just leave early. I think the park opens at like 9 or 10 in the morning. So leave at 8, get there, not 10, have all day, get done at 6 or 7, you're tired, drive home, you know, or get a hotel room, whatever you want to do, it's not bad. Uh, let's say you want to go to Cocoa Beach. That's going to be a little bit longer, but it's not going to be horrible. Two hours and 40 minutes. Beautiful beach to go to. They have, uh, if you're into surfing, they have lots of fun surfing uh, waves and things. Uh, you're also right next to Cape Canaveral, so that's where you can go watch the rocket launches. Uh, um, you know, a lot of people, when I hear them talk about living in LaBelle, they're like, oh, they're so worried about living in LaBelle because, you know, 
so far away from things and it's so hard to go do things and they think you're going to be bored to death. Look, guys, it's not far. What, two and a half hours north? That's it. Uh, two and a half hours to Orlando? It's not bad. You don't have to be live in the hustle and bustle area to um, to be able to go and experience those things and have fun. You know, say you want to go to Miami for the day, you know. Miami. Two hours. So you're basically two hours from everywhere, guys. You know, say you want to go to Key West, which is a long, it's not a long drive, but it's a two-lane road almost the whole damn way. So it, it can be, uh, it can take a little bit longer than it should. Being a two-way road. <laughs> Look at that. That's five hours and sixteen minutes. But why would why would you do that? Um, to the uh, they sometimes they send you different route because they say it's going to save you gas. No, go this way. Four hours forty-seven minutes. You'd be all the way to Key West. So guys, yeah, Labelle is in the middle of nowhere. It is small, but you can live the nice quiet, comfortable life and still go anywhere on the weekend. Take, I mean, what are you going to do Monday through Friday anyway? You're going to go live it up every single day of the week? Uh, I don't know about you, but I work. <laughs> and Monday through Friday is work. Uh, my weekends is my weekends, and that's when I go have fun. And I can go to any one of these places Monday through Friday, I mean, on my weekends, and go have a blast. Tampa. See if I want to go to Tampa. Maybe you want to go to a Bucks game, you know, two hours and 30 minutes. It's not bad, guys. It's amazing. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you have any questions at all, uh, different things you might want to go see or do, different places you might want to try out, or if you have any questions at all, please feel free to put it down in the comment section below. Please like and subscribe. I'm working to build this channel. I'm trying to bring... Uh, information to people that isn't really put out there. Everybody talks about, like I said, they talk about Fort Myers, they talk about Miami, they talk about Tampa, they talk about Orlando, but they don't talk about the pocket places, the little places that people don't really know about, the hidden gems. And I'm going to bring that to light. I'm going to bring these little hidden gems, places to live that's going to be much more affordable compared to, to Tampa or a uh, Fort Myers or West Palm Beach or Miami. Um, now, like LaBelle, you know, just to say, you know, most people end up working in Fort Myers. So they end up driving an hour every day to work. I mean, that might be good. That might be bad. I don't know what it's like where you come from. But some places, I mean, it takes some people an hour to drive, you know, 15 blocks because the traffic is so horrible where they're from. Uh, for me, it's open freeway. It's it's just go. And yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great day. Uh, please put any questions you have down below. And I'd love to help you out with that. God bless. Peace out.